If you're still using formula triangles to help you solve physics equations, you need to stop. There's no reason to use them, they don't get you marks, and there's lots of equations in physics which you cannot make a formula triangle out of. My preferred way is by using something called FIFA, F-I-F-A. Let me show you how it works. So the F stands for formula or equation. Now, in touching the equation sheet, that's the easy bit. Second part is I for insert values. So you would put your numbers in first, then you do any fine tuning, that means rearranging um, or making any calculations to make your life easier. Um, and then A is obviously for answer with a unit at the end. Now, um, this is easy to learn in theory, but it um, has to be practiced to be able to be able to do properly in the exam. So let's have a look at a question. And uh, now this question says, write down the equation that links uh, acceleration, mass and force. So that's the easy bit. Look at your equation sheet. It's F equals M times A. Now, the question asks us, a player accelerates at 25 meters per second squared. The force is 1800. Calculate the mass. So my first stage, write down the equation F then we're going to insert our value. So underneath F, I'm going to put down the value for the force, and underneath A, I put down the value for the acceleration. M, I don't know, so I leave it as an M, or I can write a question mark or an X or something similar. After that point, you need to get rid of the times 25. So what's the opposite of times by 25? We're going to divide. So that's our second F, that's our fine tuning. What do we need to do to find the mass in this case? Now, once I know to divide by 25, that's just something I put into my calculator. So one 1,800 divided by 25 happens to be 72 kilograms, which also sounds like a sensible amount for a player. And that's your three marks for that question. So formula, insert values, rearrange, um, and there's your answer. Now, they can get a little bit trickier. Let me show you this. This is worth four marks um, and is on the combined and separate science paper as well. So um, for this, uh, we've got a force. Uh, we've got magnetic flux density and current, and we're trying to find the length. There's only one equation on your formula sheet that can help you with this, uh, which is this one, F equals force equals flux density times current times length. The force we write down underneath the F, 0.05. The B, uh, flux density, is 60, the current is 50, and the length we don't know, so I'm going to leave that as an L. Now, in this case, we have an additional mark for working out a prefix. That little um, funny U symbol means micro. You need to learn these on the left-hand side. So that means it's not just 60, it's 60 times 10 to the power minus 6. You lose a mark if you don't include it, um, but it's worth getting all those marks, otherwise you are going to miss out. Now, fine-tuning, um, I would always advise, if you've got a longer equation like this, you can always just work, make it simpler for yourself to figure out what to do by doing any calculations. So here I've got 60 times 10 to the minus 6 times 50. So maybe put that into your calculator first, make your life easier. Now I've got to get rid of a times 0.003, which is next to my L. So same as last time, I'm going to divide by 0.003, which, if you put that into your calculator, happens to be 15 metres. So that's your four marks, four stages for that question. Please use FIFA. It is well well, well worth it. It will get you at least 25, 30 marks in a physics exam.